the past two weekends and she started her YouTube. So shout out to little Ma. Go watch her videos. I can't do this in public. Anyways, so if this actually works, and this is quite exciting. So yesterday I did Brighton Half Marathon. Oh my God, what an adventure that was, bloody hell. <laughs> We did 30k because so we had 30k to do on our long run for like our marathon training. So we just like incorporated the bright and half with our, another 10k. My body is so broken, honestly. Like last night, I just like literally wasn't functioning. <laughs> but I woke up this morning and I actually feel like okay. Like my body doesn't hurt that much. So I've been to the gym. Stretch like literally like 20 minutes of stretching, 20 minutes cycle, and I've just gone home, got my stuff, and now I'm going to Gales to do some uni work, um, and then I've got work later. So either I'm gonna do like I don't know what this video is. I think it's just gonna be like a bunch of videos together. I'll see what happens. It might not even work out, but yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Okay, well, goodbye. Also guys, meet my dog. This is Reggie. He's just the most precious little soul. Everyone says their dog is the cutest, but like he's just like a little human. He's so cute. All my friends say he's like a little human, so. <laughs> but yeah, we're like besties, aren't we, Reggie? Reggie? Yeah, we're besties. My God. Test of the eggs. Mmm. That's so good. I haven't had this in so long. <laughs> That's so nice. Stop. Test me bagels. Also, I have like a weird obsession with bagels right now. Like I literally have like two bagels a day. But they have to be the sesame ones, like I won't eat any other bagel. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. I think this does make it. And the garlic in the avocado. I'm doing now, to be honest. I've got work at 2.30. I'm a gymnastics coach, guys. Teach us some moves. I've got that at 2.30 to 6pm. Quite a long, long little afternoon I've got on a Monday. But I love it. Yeah, and then I think after I'm just... Honestly, with that runner's day, I just want to really chill. Like, I want to eat, make a really nice meal tonight. I don't know what I'm going to make, but... You know, when you want to really, like, cook something for yourself, I want to do that. Um, I hardly really make myself a proper meal. It's normally just, like, chicken and rice or something. And then, like, have a bath. I want to watch One Day. Everyone's raving about it, but apparently it's really sad. I just don't think I want to be sad this week. <laughs> Last week was fucking horrible, guys. I was so miserable. But this week, I feel so much better. No one asked, but I feel better. <laughs> um, I journaled this morning as well. And honestly, there was a lot coming out. It, it cut me off because I ran out of storage. So I've just cleared out my camera roll. I finished my lunch, um, which was really nice. Um, anyways, it cut me off. I don't know what I was saying. Probably some irrelevant stuff, but... Anyways, <laughs> no, I don't know what to see now. This bloody stand is gonna fall off. I just finished work. It was actually okay, and I'm so happy. It's still light outside. Like what the? This is probably the first time I've left work since win winter started that it's been light outside. Like it's it's properly light. I'm so excited. This means it's closer to summer. Anyways, I'm going to head home now. And on my way home, I am going to try to decide what to make for dinner. And I'm eating apple. Okay, bye. Guys, this is my dinner. I know I did say I would like make a meal. But um, this is all I can be bothered to do. We've got wedges. Chicken. Come on. 
morning guys <sighs> the sun is actually shining today which is pretty unheard of these days in england um just eating my breakfast i made oats but i put way too much liquid in and it's not that enjoyable but what i do for my oats i put protein powder in it so it goes thicker and then blueberries peanut butter and honey but i ran out of honey so it is what it is it's like 7 7 30 um i've got uni this morning at nine so i'll leave in like an hour yeah that's till like 12 i think and then i'm contemplating whether to go to the osteo how fun and get my back looked at because i had um a 30 kilometer last sunday and my back was so painful like i just if it's like that like on the marathon i actually don't know how i'm gonna do it and i've got 34 kilometer tomorrow that's my longest run i've ever run in my life like i'm scared i'm actually scared like and it's my first run after 30k it will be a 34 because i don't have time to do it anywhere else apart from tomorrow so that's fun i don't know if i'll go i don't i haven't actually seen if there's appointments um but yeah if not I'll just come home. The sun is really shining in my eyes. And then I've got work again. So yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on. I had a really weird dream that I was performing. Um, I was an actress on stage. A crowd of people were really weird. And we were all Disney princesses. Anyways, I'm going to eat my oats now. Okay. Look at this one, by the way. Like, yeah. Oh, pretty. Hi guys, it's me again. Did you miss me? I'd just like to state the fact that my life is quite boring. Like, I don't do that much. Like, I've literally, just to say, I've been to uni. <laughs> oh, so cold. What was I? Oh, I went to uni nine to like 11 11 30 whatever and um, then i drove straight to the gym i did 40 minutes on the stairmaster and then i was literally just watching youtube videos it was actually really fun um we might do that more often and then i literally just left showered made lunch uh what have i been doing for the past two hours can not tell you and it's been one of those days where i've had so many things to do so many little things like bank stuff tax stuff job stuff other stuff like blah 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 things like that i haven't done one of them i feel quite bad about that i did kind of clean my room but it kind of looks messy again so i don't know how that happened so that's weird anyway i've been been looking on vintage for so many things one of my life life hacks <laughs> life hacks is um is when you like want something because it's trending don't buy it instantly don't wait like three weeks of you i always search on vintage or facebook marketplace marketplace or depop but depop is a scam and if you remember like what what did i buy recently that i can show you I didn't even know but like I remember I really wanted the Adidas forums or no also like the black superstars when they became trendy and I literally just waited like two weeks or three weeks until the trend kind of calmed down searched them up on vintage got them for like 20 pounds like I don't know why people don't do this more often maybe I've just told everyone my secret anyway I'm drinking a smoothie it's banana peanut butter no that's a lie. Oh, well, there is peanut butter in it. Chocolate, protein powder, milk, and water, and ice. There's not actually water in it. I just put, like, a splash of... So there is water in it. I just put a splash of water in it. Um, just talked to my dad. He lives in LA. If you guys didn't know that, that's why I went to LA. Like, that little vlog I filmed that one time. Oh, that was a really bad one. Um, jumped, like, ten topics. So that was nice. 
anyways i'm gonna like look a bit more presentable even though i literally go to like work like this which is kind of a joke but whatever i'm actually gonna go to work come home eat a fat dinner because i've got 34 kilometers to run tomorrow i am so scared this is my first long run i've ever done by myself which sounds so silly but the longest i've run is 21 kilometers by myself which was like maybe like five weeks ago but yeah i've managed to find a friend to do one, to do a run every week so this week we're doing it by myself and i'm kind of i'm weirdly excited to do it by myself like i'm like i'm gonna have so much fun like i can just stop when i want and i'm not comparing myself to like someone else if like they're running fast or something just like charge my airpods and things which i'm gonna do right now but yeah that's all i have to say i feel like i was rambling for about 700 years then so oh my god oh my god anyway that's all i have to say catch you later <laughs> hey guys good morning it is wednesday now um i've just finished my 34 kilometer run i can't believe i did like i'm in shock literally when i finished i just went i just did that <laughs> like i can't believe i did that absolutely crazy oh my god i'm so proud of myself i just was talking to myself the whole time i was like i'm so proud of you you have five more k like come on honestly it was really fucking hard like don't get me wrong i was pulling myself forward like i did it i just ate some eggs and i'm drinking my coffee showered i always get really really cold after runs like as soon as i stop i just freeze up so i've laid on <laughs> laid up um now i'm just gonna i was gonna go to the coffee shop this morning go do some work um but i was gonna do it here and anne is actually gonna come around and join me and we're literally just gonna sit on the sofa and just work because sometimes you can that's totally okay yeah i think that's what the plan is literally just like work chill we might do movie and a dinner movie and a din dinner later in the evening um i was supposed to have therapy today but i think we've moved it to a different day i don't know quite like loads of bloody uni work to do which is slightly annoying oh my god i actually can't believe i just ran 34 kilometers eight more and it would have been a marathon yeah eight more it's actually crazy it does make me like it's like okay i can do this i think even though it was really fucking hard <laughs> yeah anyway ah, good morning everyone good morning how are we doing i'm actually in such a good mood today like oh i'm out of breath i just run upstairs not like a crazy good mood but i've just had a nice morning like i didn't wake up with an alarm which it's something that I always need to do for some reason. Like, I always put an alarm on, no matter. Like, even if I want a line, I'll put one on. Had a lovely breakfast, and then I just been to the gym. And I stretched and did a cycle, which, yeah, the gym and me, we're not in the best relationship at the minute. Not like bad, just I don't know what I'm doing. I, because I like never want to get sore because I'm going to run the next day. So, honestly. Guys, my finger is like not okay. Anyway, I just got two parcels yeah. from Pure Sport. I ordered their new trackies because um, Martha was wearing them. Oh my god, they just look so comfortable. Also, trackies that like you look put together when you wear them. And I don't own a matching pair of trackies. I own one that's grey, so I do own them. But I don't think grey and grey is like, I don't know, I just feel like a prisoner. <laughs> Okay, how can I open this nicely? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I was just about to go to the coffee shop. Oh, I've got such a big bag. And I might wear this instead. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. I need to put this on now. <laughs> I got, I think I got, I don't know what size this is. I think I got a small. I oh know this is an extra small, I think. So I kind of wanted it to be like actually fitted so I could actually wear it. 
Oh my god, I love. <gasps> Let me try the trackies on. Actually, I'm obsessed. They're a little long, um, but I am quite short. So I'll probably just roll them up. Oh my god, they're so comfortable. It does feel a little small because I'm normally a baggy girl, but I think this is good to have like one track suit set or like hoodie that's not baggy. Anyway, I'm just drinking my greens and yeah, I'm going to coffee shop. Mm. Yum. Put creatine in that as well. What's the time? 10.17. Oh, I'm cutting it a bit fine. I've got to leave to meet my friend at 11.30. But do you really want to go to Gales just to get something done? But I could go after. No, I'm going to go now. I'm going to get ready quickly. I'm going to go. That is some head work right there. Look at those fingers. <laughs> so, I'm just getting organised. <laughs> oh, my elbow. We're feeling good right now. So when we're in a depressy epi, we need to watch this. A oh, deppy epi. A deppy epi. We're being so good. We're like, we're like, we just are well. And it's just because that's how we feel. It's just, it's not what we've done. It's how we it's feel. How we because we could have done the exact same today. Go to the gym, work, and we could have been like, oh, we go. No. We feel like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. Not eh. My love's good. Eh. Yeah, she are. Guys, this is Ellie. <laughs> All the way from Cardiff to see me. Literally. We're eating some lunch and brunch. Munching. Got chicken sandwich. What do you yeah. Eggs fallow. Oh, slay. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, oh my god, I literally haven't vlogged in so long. I think the last time I filmed was like Thursday. Um, because my life is just the same. It was so repetitive. Um, like literally Friday, I had uni, had work. Last day, I actually went to um my friend guest passed me to like a David Lloyd. So we went to the gym and we did like the steam room and stuff. But if you can't tell by my voice, I've got really ill. So it's literally just sitting in the gym like watching her exercise because I couldn't be bothered to do anything it was so weird it was like all my energy had been sucked out of me so yeah I'm just like suddenly really ill um and I just feel absolutely exhausted but today we've got a really exciting day and I'm not gonna let this illness affect me so right now I just got ready and in like 10 minutes I'm gonna leave to go to Hyde Park which is where I'm pacing the Gym Girls Locker Room Mung Club. It's like our fourth one now, I think. Um, so it's at like the start of every month. And they're super fun, they're super cute. Um, it's literally 5k that we just run around High Park. Um, and Martha will be there, so that'll be nice to see her. And there's a few like other girls who I've met recently who will be there, which is really nice. Yeah, so we'll do that, it'll be super fun. And then, um, oh my god, my ears are like ringing, this is so weird. Me and Martha will probably just like go out for lunch somewhere, because um, I think we're finishing around like 11 or 10.30 or something. Um, so maybe we've got lunch, brunch. <laughs> um, we've got Anna's Run Club, which is in Battersea, so we'll travel to Battersea. And yeah, that is going to be super, super cool. 5,000 people crazy it's so crazy i'm like a little bit anxious but i just get anxious for like these types of things even like the run club i'm always a bit like anxious for it like i mean yeah i'm just an anxious person really anna organized to send me some like purple themed clothes um so i think like the theme is purple for her collection and we're all like gonna be matching purple i was just so excited so I'm going to do an outfit change after this run because right now I'm just wearing all black and white socks. Um, well, these are actually the socks that I'm wearing later. They've got a little purple shark on them. Super cute. Super excited. It sets at 1.30 to 3.30. And then I'll go home and probably die and sleep on the sofa for the rest of the evening. 
but yeah super super exciting day today and yeah i'll just film what i can film i'm not gonna like shove a camera like shove a video in people's faces and i mean i'm too scared to do that anyway so yeah i'm just gonna film like some random clips they might be this way because i might be like just forgetting i'm doing this so yeah that's what i'm saying it's actually now about two weeks after i filmed this um never actually wrapped up the end of the video and i didn't really want it just to like stop but i ended up having the most amazing sunday i've possibly ever had in my life it was just everything was just amazing uh the first run club went really well and then anna's run club was just incredible um i met so many nice people like i was just like on a high the whole day um yeah it was a really really nice sunday and then i was meant to like just say that that was a good week and thanks for watching but i was really ill and i couldn't be asked to edit anything or talk to a camera and now i'm fine so this is a week two weeks late so yeah i'm not really up to date with my life anymore but still was fun to film so I hope you enjoyed and I don't know if I'm even going to put this out but if I do, well done Amelia, pat on the back and yeah maybe I'll vlog some more, I don't know what I'm doing but love you all! <laughs>